Hi, I'm Hank Green, and I make videos on the YouTube channel SciShow. I also live in Montana, which means I've been on my fair share of hikes. When you go hiking, or when you're going on any adventure, it's important to know where you're headed, and that is where a compass can come in handy. You can find compasses at all kinds of stores, but you can also make one on your own. And I don't know about you, but I think that sounds like more fun. Here's how to do it. For this experiment, you'll need a needle, a magnet, and a piece of aluminum foil. You'll also need a compass card, a petri dish, and some water. Before we start, how do you think all these supplies are going to come together to form a compass? Well, once you have a prediction, go ahead and keep watching. First, set up your compass. To do that, place the compass card underneath the petri dish and fill the dish up with water. Then, grab your needle and your magnet. Hold your magnet in one hand and hold the needle in the other. Make sure the needle is pointing away from you. Rub the magnet along the needle from the dull end toward the pointed end. Do this at least 15 times. What am I doing? Is it magic? No, it's science. Make sure you're always rubbing in the same direction. And once you're done, Thread the needle through the aluminum foil. Then float the needle and the foil on top of the water in your petri dish. It should rotate to face north. It's almost like there's a magnetic field all around us all the time. To understand how this experiment works, you need to know two things. The first is how I got my needle to move. I did this by turning it into a magnet. When I rubbed the needle with that magnet, that lined up some of the particles that make up the needle. Those particles are called electrons. When the electrons were all lined up in the same way, that turned the needle from a plain old sewing tool into its own magnet. So that's the first thing. The second thing you need to know is that the Earth has a magnetic field. In some ways, you can picture our planet as like a very big magnet. And like any magnet, the Earth has two magnetic poles, a North Pole and a South Pole. These are actually swapped from the geographic poles. This can seem a little backwards, but the Earth's South Magnetic Pole is actually about in the same spot as the Earth's geographic North Pole, way up in the Arctic Circle. Compasses work because the magnets inside of them are attracted to Earth's South Magnetic Pole. Since the South Magnetic Pole is about the same as the geographic North Pole, that means my compass pointed north. If you want to learn more about the Earth's magnetic poles, you can watch our video about that over on SciShow Space. If you build a compass like mine, it should point north. But you don't have to take my word for that. You can also check for yourself. So what are some ways you could do that? Could you use a map or a store-bought compass? And if your needle doesn't line up perfectly, why do you think that is? Thanks for experimenting with me.